Welcome, everyone, to the third ever episode of Hap Hazard Hypothetical. Woo! I'm your host, Buck, and with me is Ryan. What's up, guys? And for those of you who have never, ever watched Hap Hazard Hypotheticals before, first off, go watch the other two episodes. There's two more to watch. Ooh. But for those of you who are too lazy to go ahead and do it, we'll give you a refresh right now. <laughs> so, we have hypotheticals in this hat right here. It's a bunch of them, such as uh, create a Green Lantern movie universe. Uh, we did Halo 3 anniversary last week. Yeah, we've done Spider-Man. Just, yeah, we did in the past. Yeah. We've done so many things. But let's see what we get this week. Ryan is going to pull from the hat this week. I pulled last week. Here we go. All right. I got it. All right, Ryan. All right, Ryan. Fucking hat over here. Hat away. Don't here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm scared. We got... Make a Star Wars movie in Disney canon. Oh my god. So basically god, us I making our own <clears throat> anything? Or is this, or is well, this tying into us making episode we, 9? No, 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 no. So the, the in Disney canon just means... Anything? So like Rogue One can technically count? Like a spinoff we could do? Well, okay, right. We have to make a Star Wars spinoff, but it has to coincide with the Disney canon. We can't make yeah. one that would tie in with like Legends canon. Yeah. For, for instance. So I can't, okay. I can't make the sequel to uh, The Last Command. Yeah. For if that makes sense. For those <laughs> who have not read the Thrawn trilogy, um, Heir of the Empire, something in the Lost Command. <laughs> Always forget the fucking middle <laughs> one. Uh, it's Heir to the Empire. Oh, I don't fucking remember, man. <laughs> it's it's on my bookshelf, but I can't fucking see. It's too dark. Okay. Um, let's see. So where do we start? Okay. What what if you can make a Star Wars? Because first off, we're just basically making a Star Wars movie. And we're just gonna make sure that this it, it is coincides. coincides with Disney canon. So what, okay, first let's start with timeline. Where what are we doing? Are we doing timeline. Uh, um, pre prequels? Are we doing between three and four post prequels? Or are we doing uh, hmm. pre new Disney? Are we doing post? We're we just gonna assume what happens after Episode Nine and do something that is a spinoff. Hmm. Without those characters, I, I don't know. That's a hard fucking choice because I've always liked between episode threes and three and four, but like everyone goes between right. I feel like three and I, yeah, four. I feel like that's like the go to place to yeah, go, I, even I, though I guess, it's only a twenty year span of time. Yeah. Whereas you get thirty between post Return of the Jedi and um, so pre. Honestly, I'm thinking, why don't we try to do something before the prequels? Okay, so you say before prequels. So prequel prequels. In my head, I was thinking I was thinking post return. Ooh. But you know what, Ryan? You know what? What about during the original trilogy? And we do Ooh. okay. I've always had this idea, and it, I've never really had like I was like I never really know what I want to do with this, but it's a cool idea. <laughs> so I'm I'm always. Now it's the time. It all comes together, Ryan. Here it is. Let me pitch this to you. Let me know what you think. Okay. And this isn't this isn't me saying that this is official. You can be like, nah. Nah. Just let me know. Okay. What if there was like a Guardians of the Galaxy esque group of people? Okay. With like a big ship and they're just like a team of fucking people who aren't like the bad guys, but there aren't Not fucking the good, guys. good guys either. Okay. Um, so the guardians, from the basically, but they're like they're not really there to like protect the galaxy or anything. They're not gonna fight the empire. They're all not all that. Well, they're they do if, they, if the empire's fucking fucking their shit yeah. up. But they're more of like relic hunters. So it's almost like Indiana Jones. Okay. But there's a team of them, but they all have their own like specific okay skills. That that's a good idea because even then you can get to a thing to where. They're trying to go get a certain relic from, let's say, so- someone that someone would know's like house that they have or whatever. And there's a whole like heist fucking yeah. type of thing well, in Star Wars. There like, could, I was even there. I was thinking there could be fucking th- this could be they could steal from Jabba the Hut. Yeah. At that point, they could even th- th- there could be such like small tiny references like if this is set during Empire, they could have like oh they were they were like. They had to flee Cloud City because the fucking Empire showed up out of nowhere, and they yeah. weren't expecting that shit. Uh, and that just, just, oh, fuck. Okay, so they left right as fucking Darth Vader showed up, and all that shit was going down. And, because I don't want to do, like, I feel like Rogue One did it well, where they made a bunch of new characters. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Basically killed them off. Yeah, like, but, because that makes sense. But, yeah. um... With Solo and shit, I'm like, you don't, I feel like you don't need to be touching the original trilogy 
you don't need to be touching really any characters except for like Obi Wan. Do an Anakin Obi Wan movie that'd be cool. But I feel like there's they're, they're more they're afraid to just like make something new. So they're just like, okay, well, there's a Boba Fett movie, there's a Yoda yeah. movie, there's an Obi Wan movie, there's this, there's that. Like, what about make your own shit? Like, The Mandalorian sounds True. really fucking exciting because it's it's not a Boba Fett show. Yeah. For all we know, I, there might be a fucking episode one plot twist where it is Boba Fett. But who the fuck knows? But uh, I think the reason why that they're scared to do that is because of the way fucking Star Wars fans are. No, but you know like how crazy but, they are. But that whenever Star Wars... they try to do something new, it just gets shit on. But see, no, what I'm saying is they do something new with new characters. You don't need to do something new with with the old characters. Yeah. The old characters that the, they're, they're they're almost cemented in a fucking fandom history where they act a certain way and fans know how fucking that A would react to fucking B and yeah. so on and so forth. And I feel like Disney's done a good job for for me specifically. Disney's done a good job with that, but I can definitely see how they haven't pleased everybody. Yeah, well, it's because so, it's hard. Yeah, it, not it, even it, the original it, it, trilogy well, pleases everybody. Yeah, it, like, it, it definitely is hard. Well, that's why I say like if you're gonna do something where you want to take some risks and have some fun with Star Wars or get real serious with Star Wars or whatever you want to do with Star Wars, make your own fucking thing because like. F- fans will fans will get invested in these characters if they're good. Yeah. Well, like everyone is up ups- like f- like Ahsoka Tano is a new thing. Yeah, she's, she's she's 2006, 2007 invented maybe. So she's a recent character. <coughs> character. Same with like Rey and Finn, these are all like new characters and shit, which is why I'm not that freaked out that they like like that they had this plot twist with her past where her parents are nobody. I'm fine I'm fine with that cuz yeah. she's a new fucking character. Like, yeah, cuz do you know why you're okay with that? Because we don't know. Who yeah, the fuck it, she exact, is, so exactly. Exactly. But I know who Luke is. Yeah. I know who Leia is. I know who Han is. And it's just hard to characters. change. Which is like I give Solo credit for trying to go with what they were trying to go for with Yeah, look at this is still Han. And yeah. I mean, they 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 did a good all-around job. But it's just there was a lot of unnecessary shit in that movie that could have easily been yeah, taken but out or also, changed for the, a different like, thing. I feel like there's not a part of that movie that was like bad per se. Yeah. But there are parts of that movie where I feel like this this doesn't need this doesn't need to be in a Han solo s- s- movie. Yeah, it needs this to could be easily be in this could easily have been like that train heist. They didn't need that train heist. You could have easily reworked that into like some other fucking star. That train heist seems like it fits more in Rogue One yeah, than it does in Solo, which is, it's weird. I don't know why, but even though Solo's a fucking smuggler and he would have yeah. been doing heists and shit, I don't know why that scene is just like, meh to me, do, but oh, it is. Do you, know, do you know why I think that, though? I think it's just the whole thing with your head and thinking like, yeah, it's because every time we see Han Solo, he's not doing that type of shit. Every time we yeah. saw Han Solo before, he wasn't doing that shit because he was already older and just yeah. like... He knows what he has to do to get money. He knows his ways around shit to where yeah. he's able to and fucking he, live without he, having to do I, those I always things. never, I never imagined he's Han, lazy. I never imagined Han Solo being the boots on the ground guy. I yeah. always imagined him being the guy that they send in when he has to smooth talk someone. Like yeah. he has to go talk to the boss lady and he's like, hey, I'm Han Solo. How you doing? Like leg up on the fucking, he's like, eh. Yeah. I'm what? What's up with this suave shit? Not so like, not so much a fucking soldier almost is yeah. how they show him off in this in the solo movie is he's just he's the he's first off he's the empire's soldier that's how he starts then he's fucking beckett's soldier basically he's part of this fucking little like ragtag group of people he's the leader that beckett's the leader of and he just fucking follows orders and shit where i never really thought han was that kind of guy but i mean i guess now now that we're kind of like speaking it out it kind of does make sense that that is the thing because he that was kind of his learning thing to where he's like I don't need to be a fucking follower. I'll just be my own guy. And then he finally kind of like, after a little bit, realizes that he doesn't need a fucking team. He's got Chewie. That's all he needs. Yeah, but I guess I'm much more interested in learning about Hans getting his piloting skills yeah. than him than how he got his good shots. I feel like if you you could you could do how Han Solo becomes a pretty good shot with his blaster in literally like a 10 second montage of him like just fucking training. Like, yeah. He just has like a fucking little dummy and he keeps like 
turn around, like, blast it, and he, like, misses once, and he's like, damn, and then it, more montage of him fucking learning shit, and finally he can, like, hit that shit on the fucking dime, and yeah. he's like, all right. Kind of like a whole montage thing that they did Because that's all, because he, because he knows that he's not the boots on the ground guy. The gun is a last resort kind of thing, where if he's in a gunfight, he know, he'll know how to use it. Yeah. If he's sitting there, he'll know, like, all right, Greedo's about to fucking shoot me, oh, pop, Greedo's gone. Yeah. Fuck Greedo. He, like, <laughs> I, I, I never fucking... Oh, bless you, bless Kitty. Bless you, Kitty. Kitty's <laughs> amazing. But anyways, okay, we're not, this is not a fucking solo review. Yes. This is half-ass hypotheticals, Ryan. Bless you again, Kitty. Okay, so are you down with my idea if we do this, like... Yes. Guardians of the Galaxy kind of... Yes. But now, I have a thing. Okay. I have a request. I, I, have, I have the perfect roster with... I, I would say four to five... I'm I'm aiming for a four. Okay. I, know, I feel like four is a good amount of characters okay. to where you can get invested in to where that you could stay invested with them. Okay. You know How what about I mean? this? Ready for this, Ryan? Because I already think, I already think I know. I have a, I have a couple good ideas from like this is this is not related to this idea that I had previously. I just like creating Star Wars characters. And yeah. Like, cool. Like, this would be cool. This would be cool. I'm thinking four characters, and a droid. And one of the characters is technically two characters. And ready for this, Ryan? The character that has two characters is going to be two fucking gun-toting Ewoks. Ah. That, like, learn to fucking talk. And they're, like, they're basically the pill bugs from uh, Bugs Life. <laughs> and they're like, you fire! And that's them. Like, they have fucking guns. And, okay. and they'll stand on top of each other and <laughs> blast some fucking dude down and shit, bro. That's a, that's, and then that's a funny they can idea. always just, like... Drop the act. Like, I imagine Rocket Raccoon, if he wanted to, could drop his act and pretend to be like cute ass raccoon yeah. and then fuck someone's face up. That's what they do. Mm, They're okay. like, oh, you fuck. Then they just fucking oh, wreck yeah. some shit. So I have it. Because you ain't spending an Ewok to pull out a gun and be like, hasta la vista, fucker. Bam. <laughs> okay, so I have it. A droid, your two Ewoks, that is technically one character. Okay. A girl, a boy, okay. and an alien. And an alien. I think this alien. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, what, what's like your favorite? I gotta turn off my fucking jacket. It's fucking hot. Uh, what's your favorite you race? Know, like you know alien what? creature thing? Uh, okay. So either you know what? I don't know the exact name because it's it's on right, my just, tongue. Just explain honestly, them. I'll help you, um, Ryan. I'm the guy. Honestly, a Greedo would be cool. Oh, the uh, cool. Rodians. Yes, Rodians. That's their fucking. Okay. Names, a like, Rodian would be cool, but I'm thinking more of something like a. Like a chewy kind of like a big mus the the muscle of the group. Okay. The the, the Drax the or the okay. Groot like if Drax and Groot became one character, this fucking thing. What do we huh. fucking do? Um, huh. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but you you know um, it's uh Jarl Poof the the Jedi with the really long skinny neck and little ball head yeah with the four arms um. One of those would be kind of cool. Okay. Because they're really tall. They're they're skinny, so they don't really look imposing. But if they're really tall, like if you imagine, like if it's if it's hella fucking big, if they're like it's a big race, like eight feet tall, and it it can it can lift a general like half its fucking body weight. It could probably lift a person up, like a yeah. normal fucking human. Human. So that's kind of scary. You see it fucking coming through, and it can fucking lift a dude up <laughs> over its fucking land, throw him against a wall. Like, yeah. That's cool. And then it could it could do it with fucking. One one dude gets picked up with two arms, and another dude gets picked up with the other fucking two arms, and, and he smashes, slams them together. Yeah. yeah, so you get cool shit like that. Well, I forget the fuck they're called. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but there's a picture of it on the screen right now. You can see it. The, the, one of these fucking guys. <laughs> you should do one of them. Okay. He'd be fucking cool. That'd be that. That's a good idea. And he's hella like dead deadpan serious, and but he like. He'll try to crack jokes, but it's just he's deadpan. Fucking, he's he can't. So he's yeah. just really bad at it. Uh, okay. He'd be like, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a fucking example for that. He could be like, like John Cena. Whenever John Cena is playing a funny guy, to where he's just big. Yeah, he be, he should be voiced by John Cena. Oh, there we go. So okay. we got John Cena on that. And so do, John Cena doing mocap and yeah. the voice of that. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so now that we have our little main. Okay, we have that. Up. We have the Ewoks. Okay, so who's voicing, who's voicing the Ewoks, though? Oh, the Ewoks? So I said we have okay. our main thing. We can cast yeah, our main thing and then right. just go off into smaller okay. shit. Okay, um, the Ewoks? It's got to be two funny voices. Would, would it be Together. weird if they both had the same voice? Kim Peele. 
No, no. I feel like that's still always a great idea. No, a duo. It, it, you just need it every mm, time. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do team. They for, like they already did that for Toy Story. Like, nah, nah. It's probably gonna be amazing. I <laughs> yeah. would want. You have to do people that can bounce well off each other. Or I, I'm, t- I'm telling you, like, if you just get one guy to do like two slightly different fucking True. voices. True. And we just fucking like, oh my god, who could like, I don't know, Danny DeVito, being like, ah, I'm a trash man, dude. I'm an Ewok. We we crush people, we shoot them, we kill uh-huh. them. Like I could see that, dude. Even John Favreau can put on a different voice and even be one of the. John Favreau was that monkey yeah, dude. Yeah, in... doesn't matter. I'm just saying. You could be multiple shit as long as they're not showing his yeah. face. You know um, what I mean. Dude, I feel like they could bounce well off each other. Dude, okay, I, I got it. I got it. Danny DeVito is one of them. Okay. And the other one is mute and doesn't fucking talk. There we go. And he's always just like, and he never learned how to talk. No, the other one never learned. He's like, ooh, he's like, ooh, chop. And yeah. He's fucking, he's yeah. Like, he never and he, he'll translate him and shit. <laughs> and the other guy translates him. And sometimes he just says the wrong thing. Like, he says you're all idiots. And he's like, ooh, chop, chop. <laughs> Where the fuck? I don't know. Okay, so now for the droid. The droid? I have an idea for who I want to voice it. Okay. The dude that voices Pathfinder from Apex. No. Because I feel like, because he was also the voice, um, he's the voice on a lot of a lot of AI uh, in movies. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. What other AI does Anthony Daniels voice? He doesn't. He's C-3PO, and C-3PO is C-3PO. So yeah. we need that. We can't just have a generic fucking, oh, I'm happy to see you. Because that's basically all it fucking is. He's just a fucking happy fucking boy. Chappy. Chappy. No, um. Chappy. We would need, like... Okay, now this droid that I'm assuming. Okay, I'm 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 picturing a protocol droid. That is like, oh, see, they already did that in the Doctor Afra comics. There's a black protocol droid with red eyes. And he likes to kill shit. Ah. Uh-huh. So what if he's like a? What if he's like a protocol droid? But. What if he's like the medic? Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, what if he's like a medic bot? Oh. He's like a protocol droid that's been like repurposed into like first aid and shit. And okay, but he also is like fucking zapper. Like he can he, he can he can fuck some shit up if he needs to. He ain't. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm fucking three PO. <laughs> fuck! I was doing the three PO arms. <laughs> the, the audio listeners. Oh, the audio listeners. It's all audio. There is no video. There is no video. One day. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So. I'm, and then I'm picturing him being like a white with color with maybe like a red stripe okay. somewhere on it. Okay. But now. is that, Are you down for that? Is that, is I, that I cool? Like that. Okay. I'm, I'm like picturing it in my head. That that, that was that face yeah, that I was like, making. Just a white kind of like, he's white C-3PO with a red stripe. Like, okay. It's pretty chill. Yeah. I can see that. Or maybe even like a more like silvery pearlescent white. It'd be yeah. Kinda cool. Yeah. You can get him a nicer, just a nicer... Yeah. Um, but who is talking in this robot um, voice? I would get Simon Pegg. Oh, he's already in. He's un- it's Unkar Plutt. Uh, You're right. Damn. I'm so I'm bad at this kind of shit. Uh, I'm trying to like, I'm going through voices in my fucking head. <laughs> I almost said Mark Hamill. Dude, honestly, um, it, R- Rogue One shot shot it out of the park with Alan Tudyk being a fucking yeah he did really boy. fucking he did good he did really, really good, good. K2, I was so sad when he got shot in that fucking scene yeah rip R.I.P. K2 <laughs> but um um alright Ryan I got it okay he's a medic and he's also like hella fucking sarcastic and he just doesn't want to fucking be there but he's fucking there because that's fucking his job as a fucking droid and he's just kind of like passive aggressively mean to everyone. Yeah. Uh. Kurtwood Smith, Red Foreman. Oh shit! Right now, picture fucking the robot being like, "God damn it! Now I gotta fax- patch you guys up again." I like that. The hell happened to you? And he's like, <laughs> got "Fucked up, shot in the arm." He's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> Obviously not cussing because fucking there's no cursing in Star Wars. That'd be pretty funny just to hear of. It would be fucking like, oh, shit. It'd, it'd be funny, <laughs> but like I'm one of those fuckers where it bugs me when Han says, "I'll see you in hell." Yeah. So I'm like, "There's no hell in Star Wars. They don't fucking the fuck." 
I like that idea of Kurt Woodsmith, though. That's a good one, right? So now... it's almost like... I picture him almost being like a protocol droid mixed with Ratchet. Yeah. With Transformers. So now we have uh, we have three done. We need the male and female humans. Okay. Uh, Quote-unquote humans. I was thinking the dude, the race, the guy, the guy will be like the... Admiral Thrawn race, so he's basically a human that's blue. Yeah. And then the lady is a fucking Twi'lek. Okay. And she's, like, green. Or, so we, since we don't want to copy Gamora, she could be, like, a yellowy color. Or, like, a pinkish color. Twilight's yeah, coming all she... fucking colors. She could even be blue. And they're like, we're both fucking blue. Let's make blue babies. Blue babies. <laughs> Little avatar babies. Yeah, little weird little blue babies with like one tentacle because they're half fucking Chist and half Twi'lek. I like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're both fucking blue. So it's like an Aayla Sakura kind of chick and then an Admiral Thrawn dude. Yeah. And they're both semi-white, semi-fucking young. And then ready for this, Ryan? Ready for this. Okay? It is blatantly obvious to the audience that the blue guy, the blue main character, he'd be like the main kind of character, is force sensitive, but not in the way where he can like lift boulders or fucking wields it. Ever he never wields a lightsaber. Okay. But it's very obvious that the force is guiding him through these fucking journeys. That's why and he's his, lucky. And he's just lucky, like quote unquote lucky. But it's very fucking obvious that like he's got some type of shit yeah. going on with him. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of times, like I've, I've uh, the way I love the force being used in like the expanded universe and shit is. A lot of times, like, if a Jedi is fucking puzzled, and they'll, they'll just sit and think on it, and eventually the answer comes to them, and they're like, okay, where does that fucking answer come from? It's the fucking Force. Yeah. So that's kind of what's, like, he's, he, he, the reason why he's able to, like, be very smart and, like, gets out of situations with the fucking, like, by barely fucking making it and yeah. skating this fucking shit is because the Force is fucking helping him. And he, because he, I, I want, there needs to be an impact where he does, like, these characters do something that without these characters existing, episode six would have gone differently, or episode five, or wherever. We still yeah. haven't figured out when exactly this takes place, but whatever, like, the events that transpire for our main characters in the actual trilogy of Star Wars yeah. would go differently if these guys have all died in their first mission or the fuck. Okay. But not to the point to where it's like, Hi Luke, and they like high five Luke, and they help him out of the jail. No, no, nothing yeah. like that. But nothing. like something very fucking. There needs to be something tiny. Yeah, and like they could mention then, like they could mention a name of someone that they know of, shit like that. But never just add on, just little things. Because the thing about Rogue One is that it wasn't really super uber heavy on anything except maybe bro. Just talking about bro. Ready for this, bro? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, this needs to take place during episode five, okay. or like between five and six would be a fucking good I'd, place. I'd say I'd say five because I think I know what you're gonna. Okay, well, you don't. You you don't. You don't. Uh-huh. Okay. Try, I'm I'm Ryan. I'm a fucking I'm a, I'm I go deep in the Star Wars, <laughs> so this is deep. I'm hard in the paint. Okay. Uh, there's no A wings in four and five. There's A wings in six. So where do they get the fucking A wings? So what fucking if our characters help the Rebel Alliance, not Luke or Leia or any of these fucking Rebel characters, Alliance. but just a, a the, the group of rebels help them capture an old like base that has a bunch of like that has like this model of fucking fighters. So that way the Rebel Alliance without the fucking A wings and shit, they would have been a little bit fucked in. They in Return of the Jedi. Because yeah, there's a lot of guys that are, like, moving fast, taking out fucking fighters like they're nothing. That one guy who crashes fucking A-Wing into the bridge of the fucking, um, uh, the... I forget the fuck it's called. The Darth Vader's big-ass fucking Star Destroyer. Yeah. And it sends it crashing in the fucking Death Star. Without A-Wings, that battle might have gone fucking different if they had True. that big-ass Death Star or that big-ass Star Destroyer the whole fucking time. Yeah. So... Fucking no. That, see, something small. Where you, you could also make the argument... Without our characters, the Rebel Alliance still would have found that depot with some other avenue if you don't like our characters. Yeah. So we're not completely fucking with your fucking lore, but if you like it, adds to your yeah, lore. No. So that's how, <laughs> that I would do something like that. Okay. So, but... But then how do you, like, tie that into a fucking movie? Like, eh. But I still say we, we completely went off when we were almost there. We just need to cast our last two. Oh, you're right, huh? We need to cast okay. male and female, then the we male, can go back. The male and female. Just, just to get that out of the way. You're right, Because okay. it's been kind of irking me. 
Yeah. It's like okay. I'm trying to think blue in a blue guy. What about like? Uh, cause I'm picturing him. Like he's the he's the most Indiana Jones. Yeah. Of the guys, so I'm picturing like, how would Gosling look blue? I was thinking that. I don't know how his acting is. Don't know if it's good. Or who? Or not. Are you talking about Gosling or no, okay. no, 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 no? You need to explain who you're talking about first. Um, I'm trying to picture Scott Eastwood being in that role. Ooh, he's not bad. I can I mean, totally he see him. He kind wasn't of being bad. Like he wasn't bad in Suicide Squad. He wasn't in it a lot. But I mean, he's also like I mean, it's you can get to a point where you're like, bro, just go home and talk to your fucking dad for 20 minutes and tell him to fucking teach you how to act. Yeah. He'll help you. It's Clint fucking Eastwood. He could probably just fucking smack acting into him. Yeah, exactly. So, so I was thinking th- he could work. Yeah, I kind of like blue. it. I like that look. Yeah. I'm picturing him blue right now. Yeah, okay. Scott, Scott Eastwood. Okay, that's Scott a, Eastwood. That's kind of a good like name to put on. You could have yeah. Eastwood on your fucking poster. Um, tricking people. They're like, oh, Clint Eastwood. Oh. And dude, what if there's a scene with this fucking, like, he's hologram with his dad, and we just get Clint Eastwood in, like, a fucking, like, sitting in a chair to just record his face going, like, son, I love you. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's all we fucking need. And then we just post make him blue. Do you even gotta put makeup on him or anything? No, we can go to his house. Him. No, we won't even need to make him blue because the hologram will just show up. Yeah, you're right. It's blue. blue. Well, we just gotta change his like tone a little bit. Yeah. Just I just... assume a blue person through a hologram would look different than a blue. pale yeah. person on a hologram. Yeah. So, anyways, but yeah, dude. Then we can okay. actually have Clint Eastwood in this fucking movie. Okay, we're good. Okay, so Scott Eastwood, and then we get we just need the girl. The just lady. Um, I'm I'm terrible at fucking ladies. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible. My life. <laughs> I'm terrible I mean, at I, ladies. I, fuck you. I'm ter- <laughs> casting wise, <laughs> that too, definitely that too. But casting wise, I'm also fucking terrible because I always just is like, uh, fuck it, Mila Jovovich. I don't know. Like, I'm just bad. I'm like terrible. I guess. I mean, but I still love. I that. know like five female actresses, and I just cycle them in my head all the time. Um. What about what about um does it matter if they're busy making a Green Lantern movie? No. What about Rosario Dawson? Picture her like a bluey color. No, do you know why I'm just gonna go ahead and instantly green light that? Because <laughs> I love her voice. Right, she has like a cool like, like. She has a dope fucking yeah. voice. Like I, I, he, I can't do it. He, hearing her, her in but... um, the Lego Batman movie as uh, Barbara Gordon was cool yeah. as shit the whole time. I'm like, I fucking I love you. <laughs> yeah, so let's just make her. Yeah, fuck it. I could I could see her. Being and we, you know what, man? If, even if she is busy with the Green Lantern universe, we've already worked with her with the Green Lantern universe, so she'll help us. She'll help yeah, us out. She'll like us. Even if she's busy, it's like you're you you're the Indigo tribe leaders so it's not like yeah you're not like a major character you're not fucking Hal Jordan you're not gonna be there every day yeah. so you can come fucking play this character and make super money we're gonna have, dude Rosario Dawson's got like she's gonna be set for life with our fucking <laughs> movie with our haphazard hypothetical movies if these were all real <laughs> she'd be fucking set okay I like it that's okay. a good fucking t- oh uh, the, the the big the big thing do we cast no yeah we did John Cena Oh yeah, he's voiced by John Cena. You're right. Coming into mocap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. John Cena is also gonna be more rich because of us too. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, right. A lot of shows and something too. I love John Cena. Okay. Can you not like John Cena? Yeah, he's just so so humble. What is the story about how they're together? Do we start off they're already together? Do we start off with the thing about how they all meet? I was kind of thinking. What if they're already together? Yeah, already together. Dude, okay, ready for this, Ryan? Because Disney's gonna like this because it makes more money. Already together. Prequel comics, one for each of the team members, how they get to the fucking team. Yeah, there you go. And then at the beginning of the movie, you can set up like a, eh, when I met you, I was blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just work it in with dialogue. Yeah. Get some... Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. I know it's show, don't tell, but fuck you, I'm going to tell you some shit because go read. Yeah. How about you read, hey, not go, show? Go look. Oh, we're showing you what's on paper. It's right there, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Pretty, I drew it. Um. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay. Prequel comic and fucking it, it, the pre- the prequel comics come in like a little pack you can get with the Blu-rays too. Okay. So if people buy it on DVD and they don't know they didn't see it in the theater. They're like, I don't know what the fuck this is. They're, here you go. Learn. I like it. So now, what's the story? Where where does this start off? Does it start off? Honestly, this is this might sound like a super shitty idea. 
because I've seen a lot of super shitty movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Why don't we start it off mid heist? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mid heist so, in Jabba's palace. Or not? No, no. Okay, ready for this? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. Ready for this though? Ooh. Okay. Mid heist. Or not even heist, but mid like like they're they're, they're doing a mission. Rating. They're tomb yeah. raiding, and they're like they've they've got they've got an artifact, and maybe it's like a like they like because our our fucking this is between like five and six ish. So there's the 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 Jedi are in a big thing right now. Yeah. Han even says it's a hokey old religion. So there's people that don't believe in the fucking Jedi, or you would think don't really know about it. Yeah, they were never told about them. Um, so. They find like a fucking holocron, like a Jedi holocron and shit, and sell it to some fucking, just some fucker, and you're like, oh fuck, no, like, oh no, like kind of hurts the audience a little bit, but yeah. it's like they don't fucking know. But that just could also, th- through that, could establish each one of their roles, where maybe like the tomb starts to Indiana Jones trap crumble down. Yeah. So they're sliding through, and the door starts closing. So the big guy comes in with all four of his arms, catches the fucking door as everyone's fucking coming through and maybe the two Ewoks fucking lift up with their giant guns and blast a hole in the fucking wall so they can all get like each one does a thing to get yeah. through the trap to get them all out I was just thinking dude one dope at the um one dope ass shot of that like from Aquaman the whole one shot when they were running through the the different like villages and shit like that oh in the trailer yeah, right. in the trailer yeah um like that type of scene yeah it'd be like all one shot it'd be thing. fucking cool yeah like we're going through as it's sideways. coming down like a tunnel and they're like running like, that'd be yeah. fucking cool i was like that'd be a good way to start off the movie then you get then you get this we're having a fucking roll crawl we're having oh a yeah roll crawl. yeah right. roll crawl it's roll just crawl. a crawl it's, it's a crawl. just a crawl yeah you're, you're just getting a crawl it's it's happening it needs to happen um but what i also think that they should do is the, the the crawl should still have the and then it slowly works its way into like a different track yeah. so maybe as the bump 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 starts to break up instead of that it goes into a different fucking track so you know like okay this is Star Wars cause that's the best thing about fucking Star Wars is getting fucking blasted by the fucking logo you're just like oh, I can read it oh my god I see it <laughs> um so it's we're definitely yeah cool. definitely fucking that's obviously fucking that's happening I try to say that because but, um, I, that I think what I think would be nice is the whole build up of this will lead like the the final part of act two should be the Jabba heist yeah I like a Jabba heist also you can get a Han Solo and Carbonite cameo because we're before six, True. post five. True. So, I think that definitely that should fucking happen. Um, and then because they, they, the, the, as they're leaving the fucking like planet of their tomb raid, they could even say like, like fuck, like it, that was crazy. A week ago, we had to fucking run from the Empire on the Bespin. Like I didn't think they'd show up, and ru- yeah. ruin our like whatever the fuck. It can even be a thing to where like someone's like, I got an idea where we can go. And then it cuts to them, and he's like, I know the Empire would be there. Like, it can cut to a whole different thing to where they arrive to Bespin, and yeah. they see the Empire, and they're like, oh, yeah. shit. So, something like that. Yeah. But, um... I, I, I think, get what you're going for with I the think, whole... I think... Little um, details. They, like... If anything, they should take a job for Jabba. Oh. And then the job goes wrong, so Jabba sends bounty hunters after them. Boba Fett. Dude. We can get Boba Fett as the main fucking villain of this movie. Boba Fett's hunting them. Oh, Craven's shit. last hunt, but with fucking Boba Fett, and he's coming. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. That's pretty cool. You get more Boba Fett. Yeah, you can get some Boba Fett, and he, like you don't have to like. But you're not, like it's just gonna be Boba Fett. He's not gonna like do anything. He ain't gonna take his fucking helmet off and reveal that he's not really Boba Fett. That he's some other dude who's been who Boba Fett died yeah. a month ago and it's been Boba Fett now and episode 6 wasn't really Boba Fett. Like, I ain't gonna do shit like that. It's, it's just gonna be like, yo, it's fucking Boba yeah. Fett. Boba Fett is coming and maybe like Bosk is also hunting them so you got like, they don't know, like everywhere they go they don't know if they're gonna turn the corner and run into Bosk or turn the corner and run into fucking Boba. They don't know. Yeah. And they're just constantly like on the fucking run. Okay. Um, and so then they finally decide like, okay, fuck, the only way to like, to like, get them away from us is to fucking like, execute Jabba basically we gotta just fucking go kill Jabba so then they go on a fucking mission to kill fucking Jabba the Hutt but that fucking that goes wrong maybe they get like on their way there they get intercepted by the fucking Rebel Alliance or whatever the fuck and so 
they're like, oh, fuck, well, I guess we'll help fucking you guys. Yeah. And so they helped the Rebel Alliance capture the fucking, the, the compound or whatever the fuck, and then they set off to go get fucking Jabba. And we don't know what the fuck happens to them, Ryan. We don't. Obviously, they don't fucking succeed, yeah. or they just give up, or something happens to them, but we'll never know. Awesome cliffhanger, right? I, I think so. Huh. Um, or, 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 in the Rebel Alliance help, they're also intercepted by fucking Boba and shit who's been hunting them the whole fucking time. Um, then... They are all like they fake their fucking deaths. Okay. They are presumed dead by Boba and she who goes back to job and job is like, job well done. Then that and that, that, that way there's no that there's an actual end to this conflict. It's not and it doesn't end. On, I don't like the end on the cliffhanger. I, right as I yeah. said that, I was like, I don't like that. I, I kind of liked it at first. But yeah, I started thinking about it. And I was like, eh, you can't end. So yeah, it kind of pissed me off. If I'm like, well, what happens? Yeah, because then you got to make a second one. Yeah, right. I mean, hey. But we can still, but this way we can still make a fucking second one, and there's an end to their fucking story where yeah. Jabba presumes that they're fucking dead, because really they may maybe are like okay, well we either can kill Jabba or like that's it, that's the only opportunity to them. But then they realize okay, well, they, he thinks we're dead now, so now we don't have to fucking we don't have to bother with Jabba anymore. Yeah, let's not do that. Cause maybe at the beginning they're like don't fucking do Jabba, we can't take it out from Jabba. That's crazy. Like that's people, people fucking die all the time on his fucking job. There's no way I'm doing a job for Jabba. Job, job, and then they're like, you fucking told you you shouldn't have taken a job for Jabba. <laughs> job for Jabba. Jabba, 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 Jabba. But, bro, then you can get a dope-ass scene where, like, they go to fucking Jabba and you fucking... <laughs> Feed me a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do you think that that... I don't know, there's more, there's more. The there's, there's more, man. There's more? Uh, we get, we're gonna invent some fucking planets, bro. Let's, let's do... Okay. What if this planet that they go to at the beginning where they're tomb raiding is like another desert planet? Okay? Because the whole theory behind the Uin planets, Dantooine, Tatooine, this other Uin planets, they're all yeah. desert planets. Okay. Which is kind of why it pissed me off that they named it Jakku. Because yeah. I'm like, what about Jakuin? There you go. Jakuin. <laughs> it's fine. It's fucking Star Wars. So I want to invent a new Uin. Uh, we should do like what if we do like Bantuine? Bantuine. It's Tatooine, Dantooine, Bantuine. Uh, Bantuine's too close to Dantooine. So does Tantooine. No, it's Tatooine, Tatooine. not Tantooine. Or is it Tantooine? No, it's Tatooine. I, it's Tatooine, which is why it's just weird that it's Dantooine. Yeah, right, right, right not Datooine. Probably because that sounds weird. Uh, what about like, um,. <laughs> I kind of like Bantuine. Yeah, I kind of like Bantuine. Or, uh, what about La? Uh, fuck it, let's just go with Bantuine. We'll change it to the fucking writing yeah. stuff if we want to. Bantuine. Okay, so then they go to Tatooine, obviously. Um, so it needs to be a not desert somewhere in this fucking movie. Uh, the rebel area that they're going to capture and shit. Um, it should be... Um, now we should do a planet that like actually exists in Star Wars. That way we can get some nostalgia in on the like, oh, it's this planet. Um, what about? I'm trying to think something that's not dead. Yo, I got it. Okay, the rebels need like that. They're at they 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 get their help to go back to Yavin and get all their fucking shit off Yavin because they have a fuck ton of like squadron like like uh, they have a bunch of like shit that they that they never even got to use yet because they were never like trained in it that's where their plans for the A-wings are yeah that's where and they're like we have to go get our plans for this fucking like ship this pretty much fast too. ship because it's going to help like, us in this war exactly and then and they and go there they go there and plans. the empire has already taken over and shit and they're kind of like they're like fucking with shit because they've been fucking with shit since episode like four because yeah. the whole reason they're on Hoth at, in five is because they were run off of Yavin by the rest of the fucking empire constantly like, knowing where they are now yeah so now they're like okay the empire hasn't been there for fucking a while probably going to be fucking wrecked but we know we have our data and our plans there so let's let's fucking go and they maybe even hired the team to yeah. fucking go and shit. Because they don't want to hire fucking bounty hunters and shit. And they're like, well, we have fucking bounty hunters after us. Don't tell her that. <laughs> I like that. Then you can even get a hologram, bro, of Princess Leia. Help us, whatever their fucking name is. You're yeah. our only hope. 
<laughs> Done. Man, fucking mic drop, bro. That's the, okay. Well, hold on. What the fuck's the team called? Holy shit! Not mic drop. Picking the mic back uh, up. Dude, we're never gonna be able to figure out a fucking good name. Okay, well, dude. Okay, so think about it. They called them Inferno Squad in Battlefront Two. The squad of stormtroopers. Um. I have a name, dude. They're we need a like, name for this fucking movie, though, at least. Fucking Batman and Spider-Man okay. Star Wars story. <laughs> <laughs> what if we call it, like, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't want to call it a Star Wars story, either. Like, I hate that. I hate well, that I mean, wait, we're making subtitle. it in Disney canon. Oh, you're right. So we're going to have okay. to throw... Okay, well, that kind of almost, in a way, kind of makes it easier. We're going to have to throw in a Star Wars story in there. Let's call it... Um... Oh, shit, we forgot about these people. Oh, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, let's call it... I don't know, like, um... Let's see. I don't know. I also don't want to have just like a blank silence for like 10 minutes. While I, have I know. A it's like title. It's very hard to think of a title. Um, fuck it. For right now, the working title is just going to be Odd Jobs, A Star Wars Story. <laughs> there you go. Fuck it. Odd Jobs, man. Fuck it. Odd Jobs. Guardians of the Galaxy, A Star Wars Story. <laughs> No, dude, we'll just call it Treasure Hunters of the Galaxy, a Star Wars story. <laughs> That's better than anything I can come up with the in the Goody next 10 minutes. The is a Star Wars story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. In the uh, wars. Is, that's it, man. Is there anything else that, that you want to add to this fucking movie? I, I, like, I, I, I don't oh, think I, oh, oh, what's their ship? What what's kind of ship, ship do they fucking have, okay. bro? I'm have... A, okay, you. Ooh, ooh, uh, I don't think that Ebon Hawk is canon anymore. Uh-huh. So let's bring that class of ship in, and we'll call it something else. Not the Ebon Hawk. We'll call it fucking the 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 the, the tin dove. <laughs> the, the tin pelican. Yeah, the tin pelican. <laughs> and they're flying on the tin pelican. Uh, it sounds like an actual name. Yeah, tin sure. tin pelican. Or we'll call it. Or like, is that one of the character no, names? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't name any of these fucking characters. It's fine though. Nah, Tin, <laughs> Tin Pelican. That's the droid. <laughs> Stop. No, Ryan. We're gonna call it Tin Pelican or Copper Heron. <laughs> the Copper Heron. And they're gonna come in and wreck some fucking shit, bro. Should we name these characters real quick? <laughs> I don't care, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be not. It can't we be should call it. him. We should call the robot. Should be like T I N 4. Okay. So he's T I N 4. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 10 4, bro. 10 4. <laughs> That's him, bro. And they just call him 10 4. Uh, are you saying 10 4 or my name? <laughs> not even like a joke. 10 4, 10 4. 10 4, 10 4. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so now Tin Four. Yes. So the Ewoks. Uh, the Ewoks are called um uh, uh it's um Smag S M A G Smag and Smag and Tag. Not nice. Smag and Brag. Smag and Thwack. Smag <laughs> and Thwack. And Thwip. Smag and Thwip. <laughs> Let's do you get a Spider Man no, noise in there. Oh, let's do um let's do um what about like <sighs> No you can think of his What about way. Bim B I M we'll call him Bim and like Bim and Bam. Bim Bam. Bim Bam <laughs> Bim Bam Yeah Bim and Bam bro It's like I'm or, Bam, he's Bim, he doesn't talk. Bim and Bomb B O M Bim and Bomb Bim Bomb Bim Bomb Bim Bomb Bim Bomb Okay, so now we got okay, we got Bim Bom. male and female. We just need the uh, male and female character. And oh, then, and no, then the John big, Cena, the, the big John Cena guy. Um, the big John Cena guy is gonna be called, um, uh, it'd be called it'd be E or it'd be Anik Nah Nahaj, Anik Nahaj. That's his name. Anik Nahaj. Anik. Yep. It's John Cena backwards. Don't be in a panic. Is that what you were doing yeah, in your head? It's John Cena backwards, bro. <laughs> okay, so that's his name. And then the the guy and the girl. Um, 
uh, her name should be like, like Phelan or something, something stupid. I don't know. Thwip. Thwip. <laughs> you really like you really like the name Thwip. No, let's let's go with like I do. Let's go with like Fena. Her name is Fena. Fena Hodge. <laughs> Fena Hodge. I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad. Okay, like what about like Hodge? What about what if her name is just like what if her name is just fucking Fiona? <laughs> Fiona. What's good? Or like... Amale. A-M-A-L-A-Y. Amale. Amale. I don't know where that, I don't know where I got that from. Uh, what about like... Temle. Or like... Ton, Tonway. <laughs> Tamaru Morrison. Her name, her name is Tamaru Morrison. <laughs> And his name is going to be... Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, bro. That's it. All right, Ryan. That's it. Thanks, everyone, for watching Haphazard Hypotheticals. We're going to go ahead and fucking end it there because I'm fucking so done. Think, Look at these characters. Look at what we've done. Look at all this glorious shit. Dude. Disney, call us. Come on. We're doing we it for you. you. Come on. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all, all that good stuff. Jazz. And tune in next week for another Haphazard Hypotheticals. Ooh. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content that we do. We got so fucking much. We don't <sighs> This isn't the only thing we do. We got fucking podcasts. We got <laughs> gameplay footage. All kinds of shit. Go check it out. Come on. Patreon, we got that too. We got everything that you need. We're actually doing this shit. Help Woo! us. Let's we love it, you. Please. Bye. Bye. That was like cat shit. She's probably shit.